Welcome and thank you for joining me to learn more about our Bite Size Azure series. My name is Jason Lambert. I'm Cloud Technical Consultant for Microsoft Azure at Ingram Micro. And today, I'd like the opportunity to teach you how to provision an Azure Virtual Machine. Okay, so by this time, hopefully you've been able to review one of two videos. The first one would be, you know, what is the Azure portal? I believe in that video, I showed you how to log in and or um, I purchased my Azure tenant through Ingram Micro Cloud Marketplace. Now what happens? That also shows you how to log into the Azure portal. So I'm gonna assume that you're, you've been able to log into the Azure portal. And real quick, uh, you get your favorites are listed over here on the left. So you can set these and drag and drop uh, these around however you like, according to your need, obviously to make it uh, successful for your deployments. And then you've got Azure has the live tiles. So if you've got Windows uh, 8 and Windows 10 uh, machines, you'll be very familiar with live tiles here on Microsoft Azure. So to create a, a new virtual machine, I'm gonna select new up in the top left-hand corner, and it's gonna open up the Azure Blades. I'm gonna pick compute. I'm gonna pick Windows Server 2016. Kind of went through that pretty quickly, but I can pick either Windows 2016, Windows 2012, uh, or Linux machines, or also machines that are templated. So if I had uh, decided to pick uh, Cisco Virtual, uh, firewall, I could also deploy an instance of that from right from the marketplace, but I'm not getting into those today. I just really want to show you a virtual machine. So I've, I've gone ahead and I've picked a Windows Server 2016 data center. I've got Resource Manager and I'm going to create the machine. And then the next blade gives me the opportunity to label the machine. So I'm just going to call it Azure Demo 2. Oops. Azure, uh, Azure Demo 2. 2. And then I can pick the disks that I want, whether they're spinning disk or SSD. And I'm, I'm just picking spinning disk for the demo. I can put my name in here, the administ uh, username administrator. And then I can I can label or put in my password. Um, and that will get me set up. And then on my tenant, because I'm in a demo account, I've got the subscription here. I don't think you may have one, but if by chance you did have the opportunity to use multiple subscriptions. You could do it for, for example, purchasing and or accounting. If you want to kind of segregate those different infrastructures, you would set up different subscriptions as well as within the subscriptions, if you wanted to segregate different um, uh, production. So for example, maybe you had accounts payable servers and you had accounts receivable servers that were separate from each other. You could set up two different resource groups under the subscription of accounting uh, in your tenant. So on the resource group, I'm just going to say it's new, uh, new one, just to keep it uh, different. And the location, I can pick any of the data centers that I want, or the regions rather, that I want to run in and around the world. In the United States and Canada, you've got Canada East, Canada Central, you've got North uh, US, South US, you've got um, East US, and West US, as well as Central US to take advantage of. That's a total of seven in North America. So I'm going to say, OK, I just want to pick in the East data center. Uh, then the next screen is going to give me the machines that I want to be able to provision. So if I don't see the machine that I'm interested in here as re recommended, um, I could select, I could go from the view all list. And then if I wanted to pick a machine, I can, I can use the star here. Uh, once it populates through and I can select the machines that I'd like to have in my recommended list. Um, but for example, today I'm just going to pick a, just a simple uh, DS1 V2. I'm going to say select. And then I have the ability here to decide whether I want to use the new managed disks. So I'm going to provision out an entire disk for my customer as a managed disk from Microsoft. Uh, if I'm not going to use managed disk, then I'm going to use unmanaged, which means I've got kind of more of a, it's a, a virtual disk. It goes all the way up to a terabyte in size, and I only actually pay for the data that I use at about a nickel a gig. So I'm going to say no. I got a storage account that I need to create. Be very particular here when you talk about creating virtual machines and storage accounts. Uh, you want to make sure that you identify them well 
So as you move forward uh, through provisioning for your customer, you know which storage account connects to what uh, devices or services. I can pick up my network here. So I can set up a new virtual network, or if I have an existing network I want to connect to, I can do that. My subnet, my IP addresses, you get five virtual IP addresses with every subscription for free. And then additional IP addresses are $3. You can set up your network security group. Again, be very specific on what you label all this so you can understand six months from now uh, what you provision, especially if your customer's growing. And then extensions, so if I want to put endpoint protection or other applications, I can work through extensions. High availability, so if I want an availability set, uh, and that's the ability to run two machines on fault-tolerant infrastructure, so I can I have that 99.95% uptime from Microsoft, whereas one machine goes down, the other one will still continue to move forward. I could do that through um, availability sets. Keep in mind also, Microsoft gives you two machines, but does not do the replication of data under, in those two machines. You would either use, have to use DFS or some other technology. If you had an Active Directory, for example, that replicates. Uh, so you have to manage through your best practices on what you would use to consume or ensure that the data was replicated. Uh, then again, I get down to monitoring. So if I want to monitor the boot or the guest OS diagnostics, I can do that. And I can pick my storage account. For today's demo, I'm just going to go ahead and select OK. And then um, once I get a final validation, I select OK. And my virtual machine is now being provisioned. <clears throat> Thank you very much for watching this uh, episode of Azure Bite Size Series. We've just provisioned a virtual machine. I'm going to set up another one uh, to look at what a uh, virtual machine looks like on running and how to access that virtual machine um, in Microsoft Azure through RDP. Thank you very much. Have a great day.